Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Woot! I got myself something for car camping because I'm planning on doing that a little bit more this summer when it arrives, hopefully. <laughs> not good. Have a camping trip planned up north and it's uh, not looking too promising now. But I thought you might want to have a look at this. If you're one of them people who like to do things the lightweight way, you don't want too many heavy things, even car camping, might want to consider one of these. Let's check it out. So what I'm talking about here is a camping chair, a regular camping chair, done by Mountain Design out of Australia. This is one of them small, portable, compact camping chairs. And I've looked at them and I've always thought, these things look a little flimsy. I don't know if I want to buy that. I mean, I'm 175 pounds soaking wet, but still, eh, they look a little flimsy. But I saw this one and it had good reviews, so I thought, let me have a look at it. It's not going to break the bank. <laughs> what am I talking about is this guy, Mountain Designs. It's a... Uh, Compact, portable, lightweight camping chair. Folds up into this little bag here. Weighs nothing. Promising so far. Let me see. The total weight, 1.8 pounds. Nothing. Considering that I'm going to be sitting on this thing and it's going to hold me. So let's check it out. You can see the bag here all folded up into uh, one little piece here. And uh, it's a nice... I mean, polyester bag looks pretty sturdy has a little handle to carry it with it does have the closure on it and you can see it there their logo mountain designs the size of this is 5 by 15 by 5 so there you go 5 inches by 15 not bad not big it's not going to take up a lot of room in your car Unless you have 10 of them. But if you're like me, you camping on your own. So let's get it out of the bag. And here it is here. It's all folded up, you see. And there's a, a couple of reasons I chose this one. One, the reviews were good. The price met my budget. And it had a little, kind of some extras. And I liked the way it was designed. So as you can see, here it is. It's all folded up. And it's just held with the Velcro tape here. And you take that off. You've got this thing here, and we'll talk about that later. And then you have it in here. Here's obviously the actual seat. And it's uh, polyester, I believe. And uh, you can see, uh, they call it a bucket seat design. So here you can see the seat here, and you can kind of see the bucket and the mountain designs on it. It has that uh, mesh on here which is nice to have. Get a little warm out there when you're camping and you're sitting outside. You're going to get a bit of a breeze going through that. So polyester seems pretty sturdy. Can you tell? I'm worried I'm going to fall on the ground when I try this out. And here is the frame. Nothing. Weighs nothing. They're using shock cords to keep everything together so it's not loose. Let's see how this thing goes together. Velcro strap. Let's take that out. <laughs> so looking here, it's going together on its own by the looks of things. Look at that. These things just pop right in. Wow. Look at that. That's one side. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. We have us a frame. Look at that. See that? Hmm. That was quick. That's promising. <laughs> quick is good. When you get to be my age, you don't like to stand for too long. How does it go together? Not that way. I have it the wrong way. Can you see me over there? Okay. There's the frame. And you saw how easy they went together. They have that. I don't know what, what, what the technology is that they call it. Elastic shock cord frame system. And what they're talking about is that this shock cord inside which holds it all together here's the seat and i would assume that the label 
goes on the top, right? So we're gonna put that in there, put this one in here. Oh, they look nice. I like that. I like that. I'll show you that. Get a little bit closer. So I have it set up on the on the back there. Now we're going to put this side in. Let me show you that. Can you see that? I'll zoom in quickly. We're talking about that. And it's like a, a very hard... I think they doubled up the uh, material. Which means it's sturdy. It's not going to break through. And that, allegedly... Goes on that. There you go. Look at that. And this one will go on that side. I don't have the strength doing this sitting down. Not a good idea. What I've got to do is get that on that. I'm going to do that right now and pop that. Well, it go there. Doesn't go in easily, which I suspect is part of the design. You don't want it to be flimsy and kind of flopping around in there. So there you go. See it? The dimensions. They say when it's unfolded and on the ground, it sits 12 inches off the ground and open, it's 26 by 20 by 19 inches. So I assume they mean 26 that way by 20 this way and 19 at the top, so it slopes kind of in. Now, if you are wondering what this is for, it's called a sand mat, I think. And what it does, you can see it has in the corners here. Yeah, you got it. The feet go in here. You're at the beach. You put those feet in the ground, you're just going to sink straight in the sand. Well, you put the chair in this. There's a Velcro piece here that goes on the bottom that holds it all together. When you put it on the sand, it's not going to sink in. I'll do that right now and show you what I mean. We're going to use the Velcro that's on the sand mat, you see here. And what you're going to do is just hang it over here, this centerpiece. Now, this is the way I do it. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, or you put it in the feet and then put the Velcro on. I just found hooking it over like this. Got the Velcro on there. Going to put the feet in. Let me come closer so you can see what I mean. See the corners here? You've got the same system as you have here, except they don't have it really tight. It's just really a loose triangle there. And the feet go in pretty easy. He says. Just like that. And we set. Oh, didn't get this one. There we go. Look. Just like that. Don't try and sit on this. This is for going in the sand. You put it down now and you're not going to sink in because the feet are on this thing and you've got this whole area to keep you above the sand. Pretty cool, huh? Now we've got to try it. A little nervous about this. This stuff doesn't look like it can hold my weight. I mean, it feels sturdy. Let's do this thing. So I've got each other with the sand stuff on Put it right over there. Are you ready? Huh. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. I think they're rated at like 260 pounds. Which means I've got 90 plus to play with. That's comfortable. And I thought about a foot above the ground would be a little low. Now, I'm a great 5'8". <laughs> I stand 5 foot 8 inches tall. And I'm sitting on this thing. And it feels pretty comfortable. I would say most people would be okay in this. As long as you're under 260 pounds. And it's... I'm surprised. Can I get up on it? Look at that. It really is a good height. That surprises me. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. Small, compact, lightweight. And it's sturdy. And I do like that sand trap thing. 
How much did I pay for it? That much. Nothing. I couldn't believe the price. I've seen other ones like this out there. They're a hundred dollars. That's always been my rule. No, that's a little bit out of my budget. This works for me. What can I say? Oh yeah. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon. Maybe I can find me another comfort thing for car camping that's compact, lightweight, and it's not going to take up a lot of room. I'm kind of getting excited. I want to go camp. Just got to figure this weather thing out. Get out there and actually enjoy it. Just saying. Thanks for watching. And as always, you be safe. Take care now.